okay so today we have had an amazing day yeah and we've actually found a bucket list find yeah so you've got it all coming to you i so know it's it's been a day of dare i say it treasures yeah lots of treasures and our, like our favorite things really like yeah it's been amazing a bucket list find and so let's, let's do, do it, it. Yes, it's whole. Look at that. A beautiful little antique plant part. And what's this? <sighs> oh no, it's something without its head. I think I'll leave that. But this is gorgeous. And I found this really crusty pipe bowl down here. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very crusty. I think it's a bit too crusty, so I think we'll leave it behind here for someone else. I'm in a hole. <laughs> and I think I found my third pipe bowl. Not found anything other than pipe bowls today. Oh, oh it's got a hole in it. <laughs> I'll leave that behind for someone else. I'm sure someone else will be interested in finding that. But let's have a look down here broken marble. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, it's a little bottle, look. Oh, it's broken on the top, look. That's a shame, that's a cute little bottle. I'll put it with the pipe bowl here because again someone else might be interested in it and there's a button here look oh it's an interesting one look at that that's quite cute another heartbreaker it's just literally the top of the torso of a, a frozen shard or something one day we will find a whole frozen Charlotte, big one, not a pudding, whole pudding doll. That is just really scraping the bottom of the barrel. This looks suspiciously like a leg. And it is, but the toe is missing and part of the top. But look at that. That would have been a lovely doll. There's a cod marble down here. There you go. Sometimes walking through the dump is like playing a game of try not to break your legs because there are hidden holes like down there. There's hidden holes. It's really quite dangerous. <laughs> Not sure if that's a bead or like the head of a pin. Sometimes they're pin heads. I think it only has one hole. Yeah, look, so it's a tiny little head of a pin, but the pinny bit is long gone. And see something else up here. Can you see? Not sure if you can, but it's a pipe bowl. <laughs> Oh, not another one. <laughs> we found these things before in other locations. They're really strange, kind of ceramic things. And we're wondering if there's something out of a kiln, some sort of 
kiln testing thing and they're always like a funny shape I like it though quite a big hole here so let's go down see if we can spot anything maybe that's fallen out the sides it's a robin over there can't quite see it in the tree but you can hear him singing his winter song already anyway before I get distracted anymore found something down here that's finally not a pipe bowl and I think it's a little lens oh brilliant I love finding little lenses I don't know why they're just really satisfying little things to collect that's a lovely one There's a vulcanite here. Oh no, it's not actually. It's glass. Oh, do you know what I think it is? It's the lid out of a baby feeder. But unfortunately, it's quite broken, so I'm not going to take it. What's that? Oh, it's a bit of pipe, but that's too broken as well. Ah, there's something here. A complete little ink bottle. It's complete. Yeah, look, no chips or cracks in the top. I spy with my little eye. Can you see the find down here? There it is. Oh my good. You know what? I have found three of these little pinched glass eyes this year. Oh, this one is like grey. Is it grey? Or is it brown and I'm not just, the light's bad or something. Oh, you know what? That is brilliant. I think it might be trying to be a brown eye which is the first brown eye I've found the last two are blue and now we have three that's officially a collection so I'm so chuffed with that that's amazing oh no look it's part of a big doll's head oh what a shame I'd love to find one this size oh no dolly all right so there's a bottle here is it whole and is it interesting let's look through the clods just in case it's quite tightly packed in there I don't want to force it keep digging Oh, there's a stopper. I think I might be able to get it now. Here it comes. Oh yes, it's whole. <gasps> and it's got writing on it. What does it say? It says, Hendry's Edinburgh. I think it's a, it's like a Scotsman with a tam shanter holding something. Well, there you go, look. A whole bottle. And that stopper maybe came off it because look, it's a screw thread. Fantastic. So I'm going to leave this here for someone else because we already have some and that would be a nice, a nice little find for someone. Oh, this is what we like to see, look. Fresh some bottles over there oh wonderful okay let's have a look there's been some heavy rain as well so it's kind of washed the treasures out the little things that we're looking for we found a few things here a piece of type a tiny little bone peg which I have no idea what could be off it's tiny 
a marble and then saw something here. Can you spot it? Just about here. Oh look, it's complete. It's a lovely little knuckle bone. A little gaming piece. It's in really good nick as well. Oh, wonderful. Great little lot of finds. I found another one of those stoppers with a hand on it. I'm just trying to work out, because that's the palm of the hand, I think. Which way around? Is it a right hand? I suppose it depends which way it's facing. I'm not sure if it's a right hand. It might be the right hand of God, which obviously is religious symbolism, but I'm not sure. down here but before I show you I thought I'd show you my hand so I am quite used to getting stung by nettles but now and again you will get a particularly stingy nettle sting and here it is these are stinging and obviously they're red <sighs> these will go down pretty quickly though but yeah they're stinging <laughs> anyway Okay, down here I think I've found a little hand or a little leg, which would be great. Oh no, oh yes, <laughs> I thought it was broken, it's not. It's a little leg, it's teensy. Wow. I love finding the little tiny ones. Oh, I just found a little hoard of treasures here. Look, it's a doll's head. Oh, I've made it worse. <laughs> The thing is, it's broken, but you could cut it off and use it to make a doll. We believe this doll head to be part of a bath doll. And here is a complete one from our collection to compare it to. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we find a whole one someday soon. Can't walk past a stopper. Bits and bobs. We like some bits and bobs. We've got a little bottle that's a bit cracked. We've got two pipe bowls and a little like lead tin alloy wheel that's a bit knackered. It's quite, yeah. Mwah! And I wonder what this is. Some kind of um, like slate thing. On the edge, it's kind of like crossed. Crossed. I'm wondering if that's some kind of sharpening stone. Probably is. Okay, so Alex just found that. a pipe hole with a hand on it, and I just found a stopper with a hand on it. High five! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I may find something quite exciting down here. Yep. Can you see it there, the shape of it? I can see it. it, I can see can it. You? Hole. Is it whole? It has been thrown down here, so it may have not be whole. Oh, Might be see. discarded. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> yes! It's whole! It is, look, it's the whole torso and the head. Oh, oh brilliant. It's still not a frozen Charlotte, It's though. not a frozen Charlotte, no. But, but it's got its head it's still and body. <laughs> it's still complete. Fantastic. All, all it needs is its arms and legs. Fantastic. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's like, I found like three of that, those kind here actually. Yeah, and I've found quite a few of those sort of legs, but I don't know if they're matching. Yeah, maybe we should, yeah, we should have a go. See yeah, if they match yeah. up with the bodies and make some whole ones. <laughs> Great. There's a nice plain pot lid here that we might be able to paint on and decorate. So I'm going to keep that. 
That would have been a beautiful tile. Imagine that floor, wow. Beautiful, shame it's broken. All right, the bottle diggers have been and left a few bottles, but there's one thing here, look. The bottom's broken, but that's lovely. Well, I think I might keep that. Here is a complete pouring ink. So that's cool. Love these. Who doesn't love a stoneware bottle? This lovely stoneware ink bottle is embossed with Love It and Love It Langley Mill Knots, which is in the English county of Nottingham. The pottery at Langley Mill was first established in 1865 by chemist and druggist James Calvert, who produced stoneware to supply his own and other chemist and druggist businesses. In 1859, James married Margaret Mathewson, who at the time was matron of Durham County Jail. Albert and John Lovett were born in Belper, Derbyshire in the 1850s, and worked at Bourne and Sons Denby Pottery. In 1883, the brothers went into partnership with James Calvert, where they introduced a new range of art pottery, employing artists such as Mary Helen Goodyear and Calvert's own daughter, Eleanor Daisy Calvert. The partnership with Calvert was dissolved in 1895, leaving the Lovett brothers in control, where they continued to produce utilitarian stoneware alongside art pottery, which is now highly collectible. This is a super example of a stoneware ink, and we love it. Look, to show you a bit of what the dump looks like. It's just holes everywhere. Mum's down there. And then holes, holes everywhere. And bottles never find beads on this dump for some reason but I think I found one here yes finally you never find them here I've only ever found a few beads here I think for some reason I think I spoke too soon because look there's another one another bead beautiful blue one this time and what's that thing Oh, a strange ring thing. I don't know what it is. Not sure what this um, brass thing is or was. It's got sort of a lug on the other side, so I might take it and clean it up and see if it is anything. Oh, okay. Maybe not then. <laughs> Fortunately, we did find a treasure inside another corroded lump of brass we took home that day. You may remember that we found one of these A. Macdonald Edinburgh buttons in our button hoard video. We didn't have the time to research every button at the time, but since we found this second one, we decided to look into it further. Andrew Macdonald was born in 1837 in the town of Pennycook near Edinburgh, Scotland. His father, Thomas, was a papermaker, and in 1841, at the age of 14, we find young Andrew working as a paper factory lad. Papermaking started in Pennycook in the early 18th century. It became an important industry in the town, and there were many papermaking mills along the river North Esk. Incredibly, early this year, Mum and I took a walk up the wooded river valley at Pennycook and found a brass roller on a bankside. We had no idea what it had come from at the time, but liked it and took it home with us. We hadn't really given it any thought since then until Mum started researching this little brass button and through the McDonald family discovered the paper industry of Pennycook. How incredible that we might have found a roller from a paper making mill, possibly the one where little Andrew MacDonald and his father worked all those years ago. At some point, Andrew must have been apprenticed to a draper because in 1861, we find him at the age of 24 working as a woolen draper in Edinburgh. 
By 1871, he was a master clothier, and by 1891, a merchant tailor and a highly respected businessman of the city. He became Lord Lieutenant of Edinburgh and Justice of the Peace for Edinburgh and Midlothian and eventually in 1894 was elected Lord High Provost of Edinburgh and knighted to become Sir Andrew Macdonald. He never gave up his clothier business and his son Andrew continued it well into the 20th century. What an amazing achievement for a paper factory boy from Pennycook. So I like to come and kind of just sit in the bottom of a hole like this and kind of just look around me. And I spot something up here. I'm not sure if it's anything. Might not be anything. It's there. It is something. Look, it's a little doll's cup and it's whole. There, cleaned it up a little bit. It's complete. I think mum found this, I left it behind, but you know, I'm going to take it. It's sealed on the bottom, it's been bro it's broken off something or something's broken off the bottom. Um, but there are no chips or cracks on the rest of it. So you could put that into something and use it as like a bud vase or something. And I'm wondering, because it's green, whether it's uranium glass. So I think I'm going to take that. And I found a, another little ink bottle. I found loads of these here. But there's this big hole here as well. And of course I'm interested in the little things. Not so much the bottles. We've got too many bottles. But there are loads of them. Loads of bottles left behind. I think I found a paint pan down here, look. Looks very paint panny like. I haven't found one of these for ages. Might still have the paint in, so I'm not going to take the soil out. But I think I spot. Oh, this is new. WN London. What is WN? Winsor and Newton. Oh, Winsor and Newton. Oh, yeah. Windsor and Newton, okay. So that's what it stands for then. <laughs> but I've not seen it light like written like that before. Oh, and it's whole, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. Go in our paint pan collection. And I found a little pot. Can't resist these little pots. They're cute. And over there, I think I can see plant pot. But is it whole? It's whole enough. It's got a little chip out the top but we can fix that. But yeah, great. A little pot and a plant pot. There's an ink here. Is this whole? Yes it is and it's quite nice. So I'm keeping that. So I found a flat back poison here. Some people call them coffin poisons, but there is another poison called a coffin poison. And some people call them flat backs because they've got a flat back. But yeah, unfortunately, the corner of it's been knocked and it looks like a fairly recent break. So I'm wondering if the digger just caught the corner of that, which is a shame. Oh, that's Shame. Yeah, just got the corner that's just been caught oh, there, no. look. Maybe we can fix it. Put some green resin in the corner. Yeah, you could. Or not. <laughs> because look, I found something down here and I think it's a doll's head. Oh, that's quite a big one. It's quite a big one. Look, it's the best part of one. Careful, the eyes might be in there. Oh yeah. Let's have a look, are the eyes in here? Oh, I'm not filming it. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Can you see them? I've only got one hand. I can't see any eyes in there. Are there any eyes down here? No. I think the eyes have long gone. 
but wow, that's, that's a good part of a it head. It is. It's like the we best can, part. We can we can do something with that. We yeah, I put a plant in the top. That's what I like to do. But we might be able to make it back into a doll. You never know. And I found this. It's part of a stopper that's broken off. Oh, it's still it's pretty. Still nice. And this tinsy little bottle that I like. Oh, that's a nice find. Yeah. Shame that's broken though. Oh, I see something blue and potentially glassy down here. See that? Is that a bead? Oh, I think it is. Let's give it a bit of a... The mud's very sticky. Oh yes, look, it's a beautiful swirly bead, like pressed glass blue bead. It's really nice. Look at that. Wonderful. That is the tiniest jar I have ever seen here. Look at that. It's teeny. I'm gonna keep it. Is this a bead? It's round. Mm, I don't think it's a bead. Clay marble. Cool. Handful of finds here. We've got a basket weave pipe bowl. Look, it's got like a leaf design on the bottom there, which is really nice. Not seen that before, look. That's lovely. Yeah, I like that. And then um, I've got this fastener here, a little marble thing, and then this thing. But we don't know whether it's a button. A big Ooh, old oh it looks oh, like it wow. might big old button or like a lens or something looks like a button yeah giant coat button or something Let's look the back. oh there's something yes it's it is a button you were right wow. i thought it was a lens and i thought it was a button i win you win it's mine it is yeah look that is the biggest that must be the biggest button we found today that's huge that that's, is amazing. Yeah, that's got to be a coat button. Can you see through it? Can't see through it. No, it's very black. That's the hugest coat button ever, isn't it? That's beautiful. Very that's like amazing. Edwardian style. Yeah. Oh, button. actually, what's this thing? Oh, oh. <sighs> it's a, a label. It's a complete one. We've we found, found broken ones of these. Yeah. And this is a, oh, it's got a bit of a chip out of the top bit there, but we can fix that. Yeah. That's the first complete one we found. <laughs> How random. Really cute though. I think I found the digger's tools. <laughs> we put a clump of dirt on top of them. And just after that big black button, we found another one. Oh wow, another really nice one, look at that, <laughs> can't see it very well, it's covered in dirt, that's beautiful though, um, I think it's been gilded actually, but obviously we'll have to wait until we get home before we can see the full design because yeah it's really dirty. Pipe bowl, is it plain? I think it is. Just a plain one. I was just complaining how I never find beads here. And I think that is my fourth one, which is really weird. Of the day. I think that's the most beads we've ever found here. So strange. And down here I found a few bottles. Well, quite quite a lot of bottles actually. <laughs> But the interesting little ones here, we got a cotton reel ink, a complete one. And I think mum might have already filmed this, but it's a Milton's bottle, like a disinfectant. And look at this tiny little thing. That's cute. It's got a bit of a chip though, unfortunately, on the lip. That's sad. This bottle here remains with a label on. And that's an unusual shaped one as well. Okay, so down here, I recognised, saw this tiny little bit of porcelain and have a bit of a suspicion that that might be 
<laughs> let's hope. Let's, let's hope it is. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yes, cross your fingers because it looks like it could potentially have its head, which will be the first whole one of this size we've ever found. Here it goes. Here it goes. Do it slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh my goodness. Say it ain't so. Oh. Uh, yes. yes. Oh. oh my gosh. Look, it's got little easy <laughs> cheeks. Oh wow, look, the face. Don't rub it too hard, don't rub it too it's hard. It's painted and it's got hair. I've never seen that oh, before wow. either. Never found a, a whole one any bigger than an inch. I said earlier today that I hope that we found one of these holes for yeah. the first time. I, you know what's on its side? I have no idea how I even recognise that. It's the texture of yes. the porcelain. That's what unglazed, we look for, yeah. isn't it? We we can tell the texture of the porcelain, the bisque porcelain, and bisque porcelain usually equals dolls, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm so happy. Look at that! Amazing. Look at, look at its little face. Oh, oh my goodness! No, look at its hole. Finally. Finally. A, a whole penny doll that is bigger than an inch. Because the ones we usually find are like that, yeah, little pudding yeah, dolls. Yeah. This oh, one's at least two inches. <laughs> it's at least two inches, yeah. Maybe one and a half or something. Brilliant. Look at its face though. At last we found a complete porcelain doll that's more than an inch tall and we love her. She is still very small, measuring only 1.7 inches, but we were so excited to find her. Although many people now refer to these little porcelain dolls as frozen charlottes, there is no historic evidence to connect the dolls with the American folk ballad Fair Charlotte based on the poem A Corpse Going to a Ball by Seba Smith. It seems the name Frozen Charlotte was given to the dolls by doll collectors in the 1940s and, like a lot of misinformation, has since spread wildly via the internet. Please follow the link below in the video description to read an excellent and well-informed article on the subject by Bonnie Taylor Blake called Defrosting Frozen Charlotte 21st Century Misconceptions About a 19th Century Doll. These simple one-piece dolls were made in Germany from the mid-19th century to the early 20th century. They ranged in size from half an inch up to several inches, cost only pennies to buy and were available dressed or undressed. The smallest were called pudding dolls, as in this 1899 British newspaper article about Christmas pudding. To create a little fun, it is customary in many houses to insert a silver thimble or threepenny piece and one of the tiny china dolls especially made for this purpose called pudding dolls. It is well to tell those who are served with the Christmas pudding that these ingredients have been mixed in so that no one may inadvertently swallow the dangerous morsel. The backs of the dolls were left unglazed so they didn't stick to the kiln. Hollow ones were designed to float and some came complete with their own bathtubs. So finally, we can cross it off the bucket list. We, we did it. We found <laughs> more than one inch whole doll. Yes. That is amazing. It's made our day. I think that's probably our find of the day. Not just a whole doll, but it's got its yeah. face. It's little cheeks it's and hair and everything still on. So that's amazing. <laughs> we can get so happy over a tiny little bit of clay. But, but it is, it's wonderful. And it's something we wanted to find for so long, yeah. so it really is just <laughs> We're so happy. So happy. <laughs> week there's definitely a doll theme going on with of course our wonderful complete little doll and an assortment of doll parts including a tiny cup and we are so happy with them and with amongst other things five ink bottles 
two plant pots, a knuckle bone and two beautiful black glass coat buttons, we think this was a fantastic day's treasure hunting. A massive thank you to all those who've bought things from our Etsy shop, which almost sold out in 24 hours. There's still a few things left, so follow the link below as our shop will be closing again soon to restock for the new year. Okay, so we really have had, I don't know if we say it every time, but it has been an extra special yeah. day today because we found a bucket list vine. You don't find one of those every day, do you? No. Um, and no. It, it's been a day of dolls, like doll parts. Yeah. There's been like a lot of like doll themes. And what about that button? Absolutely that amazing. Tra yeah, I found two buttons and uh, obviously our little penny doll, which was the best thing ever. We've had a great day and we hope you have too. Yeah, oh yeah. But I mean, the only thing left to say now is goodbye and thank you. So great big thank you to everyone who has liked this video, who has left a comment down below. We love reading all your comments. And of course, everyone who subscribed to our channel, which really helps us it does. keep going and making these videos. And an extra special thank you to our patrons on Patreon who help to keep us going every month. Thank you so much. And to everyone who's helped us out in any other way, um, people have donated on PayPal and bought us coffees on Kofi. Thank you. Well, enough coffees to yeah. keep us going for a Someone month. Someone bought us like a whole day's yeah. worth of petrol money the other day. Yeah, so While we were on the dump, we got like a notification. Yeah, so and that we was a like, really great surprise. Oh, yeah, thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.